image of the continent of Africa has always been that of poverty, violence, crime, and lately, xenophobia. With less than two years before kickoff, we have to seriously look at South Africa as a brand and make it a conscious effort to change these perceptions. At the moment, I think the international media and other forces are more in control of the country's brand image. And Donald Trump once said that if you don't manage your brand, somebody else will do that. And most likely that will be your competitor. So I feel the readiness campaign has been forced upon us. And I think we should shift the debate rather to how can we make this the best World Cup ever. Even though we need tough measures to improve all the identified areas that need upliftment, we don't need to be dragged down by negative feelings as our circumstances are not that different from what was experienced by the mighty Germans around the same time when they hosted a 2006 event. Here is an ordinary English fan sharing is that Germany at this very point in time, which is roughly two years before kickoff, was at a similar state of mind as South Africa is now. The mood was so negative that the media coined the term consume for Weigerung, people refusing to consume. There was record unemployment, and on top of all, the German soccer team just crashed out of the Euros the first round, which was unheard of. When the final whistle was blown at the FIFA World Cup 2006, this catapulted them into an ovation of brand Germany, and the German team kept on winning in great fashion. South Africa has got great players, great teams. So I think the ingredients are there, um, and every effort must be undertaken to turn Bafana Bafana into a winning team. Now for 2010, the brand promise is Kinako, celebrate Africa's humanity. So what better way to celebrate Africa's humanity than to, to celebrate the champions and the heroes from the continent and the country. Our biggest challenge, however, would be if we can turn this into a truly continental event and celebrate the spirit of Africa. I want to believe that this hosting of the world is not just for South Africa, it's, an Af it's Africa hosting the rest of the world. I'm a journalist uh, from Nigeria and from what I've seen in Joburg, uh, Port Elizabeth here, you know, and some other parts of South Africa, then I must tell you that the whole world will be in for a shocker come to anything. As far as we as Nigerians are concerned, uh, Africa is hosting, I mean, hosting the World Cup. It's, it's, it's a great, I mean, achievement for, for us as Africans, more so for, for South Africa. Well, certainly in terms of the readiness, certainly on track, in terms of making 2010 the best World Cup ever and fulfilling President Beke's promise that he made in Berlin two years ago, um, I think the, the focus now needs to shift on how can we provide in 2010 a unique and memorable experience.